Hey Sagittarius, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is your July general tarot card reading, right? Also known as Deep Thoughts with Dana. <laughs> so this is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius, right? General, general, general. Do not try to make this fit into your life if it does not resonate with you. And definitely, absolutely, positively, do not make life-altering decisions based on a general tarot card reading. Okay, that being said, if you would like a reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. You can also, if you are a subscriber to this channel, click on the link in the box below and get you a $50 tarot card reading, right? Now, I've always offered $50 tarot card readings to my YouTube subscribers, but because of life in general, I have three different client bases and trying to keep them all separated is just killing me. So the $50 tarot card readings are will be no longer as of August 1st. Hold up now. That being said, if you are a current client of mine now, or if you become a client of mine before August 1st, you will be forever and always locked into the $50 tarot card readings. And I will send you a personal private link where you can go and schedule your $50 readings just like you always have. Super easy to do and um, you'll be locked into the 50 bucks. If you would like to become a client of mine before August 1st, you can schedule a reading in December if you want to, as long as it's scheduled by August 1st, you will be locked into the, to the $50 tarot reading club, right? I just want to be right and true and fair and honest with everybody who has ordered a $50 reading up until this point. You will continue to be able to order $50 readings for infinity. All right. So what else? I think that's it. So Sag, let's get into this reading, okay? Let's do this. So you open up this reading with the Two of Cups. This Two of Cups being about a love relationship or some kind of significant relationship in your life. Crossed by the Prince of Swords, this is saying that there is some action oriented communication that is coming into you. Communication that requires action on your part. Okay? This communication puts you in the energy of the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is an energy of. Nine of Swords. Did I say Nine of Swords? Nine of Wands. Hello. This puts you in the energy of um, being defensive, right? Hesitant, on edge. Whatever this communication that's coming in about pertaining to or surrounding a significant relationship in your life that is requiring action from you makes you feel hesitant, defensive, and on edge. Okay? To the High Priestess. This communication makes you sit down with your subconscious mind, your intuition, your higher self, right? Because you have goals and aspirations and ambitions with the Ten of Pentacles. You have hope. You have faith. You have purpose for the, the, the plans in your life. And for some reason, you really feel the need to do some heavy soul searching in order to answer this communication about an important relationship in your life. I feel as though looking at the rest of these cards that this communication that's coming in is about leveling up this relationship somehow. Okay. All right. So you find yourself with the Eight of Pentacles wondering if you really do want to engage yourself in this situation or not. The Ace of Pentacles. Do you really want to manifest a new opportunity? Or is this going to turn out to be, by choice, a lost opportunity for you, Sagittarius? These cards are clarified by the Prince of Pentacles. Like I said over here, you have plans for your future, right? The Princess of Wands. Not only do you have plans for your futures, but you have a sense of enthusiasm 
exploration, discovery. You have things that you want to do and accomplish in your immediate future and long-term future. Three of Wands comes in and says you are preparing to expand. And I just want to go back to this Eight of Pentacles really quick. I think you might be working on something that is very time-consuming and very big, okay? Three of Pentacles comes in and says lack of teamwork and collaboration, right? Lack of teamwork and collaboration. You know, you just aren't getting what you need to get from this particular significant relationship in your life. And the devil card comes in and says that you're beginning to think that perhaps this attach attachment is a restriction to your personal growth, right? Wow, Sag, so what you going to do? What you're going to do is the Queen of Swords. You're going to make a very, very important decision. Very important decision rooted in your feelings that affects the establishment and the structure of your life. Because you feel like this Knight of Cups, right? This Knight of Cups is about is about accepting or giving feels to somebody in some type of situation, right? It's about exchanging. It's about offering a cup of feels. The Knight of Cups in the upright is the metaphorical knight in shining armor. It's about romance and charm. But in the reverse, it's about unrealistic, right? It's about unrealistic. So the decision you're about to make is cutting out this significant relationship, the sharing of feelings, whatever this relationship is for you, you're going to cut it out. You're going to cut out your feels with the King of Cups. Um, this, this, this Two of Cups relationship in your life. Because what's on your mind is the structure and establishment of your life. This King of Cups also tells me that um, you are doing this in a very emotionally balanced and controlled way because you've given it a lot of thought. Six of Swords comes in and says, regretful but necessary transition in your life. After much thought, being caught up in your own mind, heavy for a minute, the King of Swords comes in and says, no more. This is your decision. This is the final decision. And this is what it is for you. So to reiterate, the Queen of Swords, you are making a decision to cut this Two of Cups relationship out of your life. A very emotionally balanced and controlled situ uh, situation, decision that affects the establishment and the structure of your life because you feel unrealistic that this relationship is going to help you achieve the goals that you already have concreted in your future. Unrealistic. Six of Swords, head now. Eight of Swords, much, much mental has been put into this. King of Swords comes in and says, final decision, done deal. I'm cutting this out of my life and I'm and the communication that you're going to give back to this to this two of cups thing right here is and thanks but no thanks chariot rolling on out rolling on out right to the king of swords in reverse this is going to be about manipulation to the strength card in reverse which is about self-doubt to the lover's card, which is a misalignment of values. So there is, there is an energy of not being manipulated anymore. There is an energy of self-doubt when it comes to this Two of Cups, Knight of Cups situation. And the lover's card tells me that, yeah, this is about love, harmony, relationships, but it's about values, alignment, and choices. And you are choosing your own self and your own values versus coming together and sharing with another. The hangman comes in and says, you are pausing, you are surrendering 
you're thinking about what it is that makes you happy with the Sun card, what it is that's going to bring balance and prioritization into your life with the Two of Pentacles. The Four of Swords says heavily contemplating Ten of Cups in reverse is a breakup to the Hierophant of this commitment that you have in this Two of Cups relationship. This is like a little culmination right here, right? Actually, this little stack of cards could probably go right here to make it floor, floor, to, to throw it on the floor, to make it flow more fluidly, huh? right? So that is what I have for you, um, Sagittarius. Let's just do a quick recap, okay? Some kind of significant relationship in your life is, is requiring you to return some kind of communication. This communication, I believe, is about leveling up this relationship somehow, some way. The Nine of Wands has you feeling defensive, hesitant, and on edge. Because with the Ten of Pentacles to the star, you have plans, right? You have plans for your future. You have things that you are doing. So this puts you into the hermit energy, right? Soul searching, introspection, inviting the high priestess to come on in and have a sit down because you need to search your subconscious mind, your intuition, and your higher self about what it is that you're going to to do in this situation. Eight of Pentacles, like I said, you have things going on. You're working on stuff. You are trying to manifest new opportunities in your life. You're trying to manifest prosperity into your life. Do you want to do this with this Two of Cups relationship? That's the question. Is it going to end up being a lost opportunity, That a voluntarily lost opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles? Are you going to disengage with the Eight of Pentacles? It's, it's dual purpose here, right? right? Because like I said, Prince of Pentacles, you have plans for your future. Discovery, exploration, a sense of exuberance, right? Preparing to expand yourself. But the Three of Pentacles comes in and says, you see a lack of teamwork and collaboration in this relationship. And the Devil card says that you see this as an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Queen of Swords comes in and says, off with it. Off with the head. Off with the head. Cutting it out. Cutting it off. Not going to do it. This is a decision that is made... Um, with a lot of emotional balance and control where your feelings are concerned. And it affects the establishment and the structure of your life because you see a Knight of Cups um, exchanging of feels kind of thing as unrealistic. It just doesn't fit into your life right now. Six of Swords, a regretful but necessary transition. Eight of Swords, when as you have been caught up in your mental a lot. This King of Swords is the absolute definitive decision maker. Done deal. Chariot says you're rolling on forward, rolling on forward because you feel like there is a little bit of a manipulation, a little bit of manipulation that makes you doubt yourself or your abilities somehow in this situation, right? To the lover's card. This is about this is about a significant relationship where there is a misalignment of values and you are choosing to 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 move away from it. Hangman, like I said, it should go like right here, right? So this is like a little like a little a little pocket of um of that's reiterating the decision making process, right? Hangman pausing, processing surrendering, coming out on the other side with a decision about what makes you happy with the sun card, about priorities and balance in your life. The um, four of swords, uh, contemplating, right? Contemplating, thinking about the ten of cups in reverse, a misalignment of values and a breakup and dissolving your commitment to this two of cups significant relationship situation in your life. There you go, Sag. That was your reading for the month of July. These energies will last as long as it resonates with you until it stops resonating with you, right? Let's do your spiritual number of the month. Let's see, nine. Very nice. Nine is about fruition, attainment, bringing things to conclusion, completion, and fulfillment, right? 
Very nice. That's perfect. Let's break it down into a three and a six. Three, initial fulfillment of goals, growth, and creativity. Abundance, expression, communication, and friendships. To six, communication, problem solving. And that's exactly what's going on right here. Exactly. All three, the six, the three, and the nine is all exactly what's happening with you this month. All right, Sagittarius, there you go. If you want a reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation, hit me up at the link in the box below if you are a subscriber to this channel. There you go. Namaste.